So I think, uh, you know, a lot of folks have seen this visual here. Usually it's Azure in the middle. Well, think about this. You've got the ability to secure, protect, monitor, configure, and govern your environment using Azure VMware Solutions. So if you think about it, Azure VMware Solution can now be that central focus point for your operational best practices. And then you can extend what you need to do and integrate with all the Azure services uh, kind of on that front. Yeah, you'll be sure. I'm just getting a notebook. I got to go back to so let's talk a little bit about the new and differentiated features because we did have a first go round of this. If you ever hear Cloud Simple, that was the first uh, attempt at Azure VMware Solution. Um, it's still supported. So if you do have it or you know of a firm that has it, um, that will be supported until there's no more Cloud Simple customers. But if you're a net new customer, the recommendation is to go the route, <clears throat> excuse me, of what uh, GA had last September. So it's a first party Azure service. It's cloud certified by VMware. There's a seamless Azure experience and there's native integration. So that's a really cool, compelling thing. You don't have to pick apart and learn the different solutions. You can learn them as your environment moves into Azure. We've got the hybrid use benefit licensing for Windows and SQL Server, which is really awesome. So you don't have to pay the Windows license costs to run your VMs inside of ABS. And then we've got the free extended security updates for Windows Server 2008, 2008 R2. Uh, SQL Server 2008 and 2008 R2, don't know me that doesn't show up in the slide, I'll have to fix that, but it's all of your older flavors of Windows Server and SQL Server, you get the free security updates um, going the route of placing this inside of Azure. Um, the latest VMware technology updates show up as well. Now it's always going to be N minus one in terms of the version. So right now there's a lot of testing for vSphere 7.0 and I'll talk about this in one of the next couple of slides here. We're on 6.7 update three. And because we're doing this for a number of customers, there's a lot of validation that has to go through this. So the headaches and, and pain points are now falling on Microsoft rather than you to make sure that your environment is sustainable and, and reliable. And then most importantly, up. You've got uh, the HCX Enterprise Edition is available. It's um, Eventually it will show up by default. Right now is HCX Advanced, which supports up to three site pairings. Um, the Enterprise Edition allows, I think it's up to 10. So that's kind of a feature that, that it's, it's being, it's in public preview right now. It will roll into full-blown GA at some point soon. These are dedicated hosts to you. That's the cool thing. So when you go and you specify you want AVS, you get three nodes. They are dedicated to you. Those are your servers and they live in an Azure data center. Um, you know, you've got the unified licensing and consumption models. So you go to the same spot to take a look at everything rather than going into one portal here, one portal there. So Cloud Simple had multiple portals. This is all integrated into the same portal. So you get the same features that you would if you were spinning up um, ISVMs or any app service plans or anything networking, right? And then there's a simplified NSX interface as well. So a lot of customers embraced NSX at different, uh, different points and then customers also chose not to embrace NSX. These are really for the customers who didn't embrace NSX. They can actually think about using the Azure portal to configure those sides of things.